hello friends uh, this is a uh, another video session it's an continuation part of the get link tool and uh, today I will show you how you can uh, configure and run these test cases that you recorded uh, previously okay for that uh, what you need to do uh, you need to go to the uh, command prompt and you need to launch the tool get link so you need to find the bin folder path once you have bin folder path identified so you need to run it so I'll run I change the path and here what I do I run the get link dot but uh, now at the moment it is compiling once compilation done it will pop up and show you more options and we look around what it is showing to understand more so uh, one thing uh, we also modify those uh, test recorded scripts I will show you and also we can do the configuration settings related to the uh, get link also it's possible so at the moment it is compiling and now it show up to us the options like uh, choose a simulation number so that mean uh, as you remember we recorded the test one I will show you again here I go back I go to get folder and in my test cases I have one recorded two test cases but now I have one at the moment I will copy that one and move to the user files and put in the uh, simulation here so why because uh, at the moment this folder it is considering for the simulation users get link tool so if you want to change the path of this tool itself so you need to go to the, the folder and you need to go to the configure file and there is a file called get link configure and here you need to mention the path at the moment it is simulation is running from here so if you want some custom path you can set more than that in this files uh, this uh, whole uh, file contain itself the uh, different possible configuration with the get link tool once you start using you understand more for example here you can see all directory settings are over there and the uh, charting settings are here and so on so uh, it's a, a quite big file to configure according to your requirements so at the moment I will close this file we are not changing anything we keeping as it is and just we moved our file over to the uh, uh, user files and simulation folder so it, this is here and uh, already uh, some other test cases already exist by default from the tool so those are here simulation one advanced simulation step 0 1 to 0 for you and test 0 and also here so if we go in a look in a console you also see the same files test 01 and computer based simulations and uh, 012060 so that pretty much what we have in that folder and it is showing only six files so so if you want changes you need to set these settings in a configuration file so what i do uh, now i will select the uh, simulation before simulation going I will want to open this file uh, our test case recorded test 01 and look around what it is okay I will open with the notepad plus plus and uh, this is a Scala file and if you look around here is the input options and if we go scroll down it's a whole test case itself and it's also going to the news section 
that the end so uh, in this video I will show you only one customization of the script only one option that means increasing the simulation uh, simultaneous users so for whole the script I will increase the simultaneous user as a the 10 and save that mean uh, this get link tool now ready to simulate for the 10 users so what I do I go over here again to console mode and I will run my test that is a zero I select the simulation number and the task for the select the simulation ID so so we can give ID as this is uh, as we know this is India website so we say like uh, India website and test is zero one okay okay uh, we can uh, it is saying it is illegal because we use the space in between so what we do I will do India zero one okay and uh, it asking for a description so I will give a description india website 10 users test okay because we given 10 users in the script so i click over it and it started now simulation of users and you might see in the screen it is running on and it simulating the users and it bringing the details like a <coughs> status code and also uh, the seconds information how much time it is taking so I think it is almost too done So uh, do not forget in this test case we have two sections one is the user going to the home page then user also going to the news section so that what uh, that why it is taking a bit more time for the simulation because uh, it is looking for a lot of requests okay okay the test is completed so we look uh, briefly what it is showing in the log so if you look uh, the the information here request count is 5 and minimum response time is 82 and maximum response time is 20.82 and standard deviation is 699 so so it's also showing the percentile with the incremental wave and so on so what i can do now i can go to the uh, results section and evaluate results in a graphical way that is much more easy for for me and you to understand what exactly done so what i do i will close this one option and go to the Uh, result folder and I will open as you remember we given that there's a India 01 to the test name itself so I will click open this one and I will open <coughs> this file <coughs> okay okay bum bum something wrong we failed it is always good we can have the failed request it failed maybe many reasons maybe uh, we are requesting so many requests from the same IP address and uh, the firewall from the uh, this company automatically blocked so there are some something so all errors are always good to understand where we are and where, what wrong we did and where we can improve so what I do I will go with the results this is a global results 
it's showing the failed requests okay that means something went wrong in this test run so we can try to understand okay all requests went to the failed okay that is good uh, we need to now what we need to know like we need to go back to the script and we need to check what went wrong with the script itself so what I do I will go to the script and try to understand what went wrong okay I'll open this one mm, try to investigate what is wrong in the script uh, I do what I do I will remove 10 users and I will make to one user and close this one and what I do I try to rerun to understand where I am with this script maybe script recording went wrong or maybe some configuration missing so what I do I will relaunch the two from here and look for the rerun this test case again so that that bring uh, me and you also to learning curve and also confidence what wrong we did before and what i do i will select the zero again and it is asking test zero one i will say like uh, india zero two India 02 okay we will see what will happen when this test is running so this time it is only one request we made so it pretty much done I think Uh, do not forget in one uh, request I mean like a one script we have uh, more than I think 300 or 400 requests so we will see what was the outcome of this test I think it is done okay So uh, if you use some other uh, tool uh, for performance testing, you may be seeing lot of user interface and uh, easy to manage. But in uh, Getlang uh, tool itself, uh, provide a less UI, so you have to be comfortable using this uh, environment, command prompt environment. So what I do, uh, I will go to the this result section and check. So. Uh, briefly jump to the results section and open this India 02 and open this one okay. this time also failed that, that means something wrong with the script so what I do I come with you uh, another video with a successful uh, recording and uh, successful running so that mean we understand so what I can ask you to do like if you fail so if you notice something please investigate why it is failing as it is failing like maybe it failed because of the website itself down one one option and another option may be the this uh, uh, host thing like we are spamming like we are generating requests to the some public website randomly so it may be because of that uh, so this is how I see at the moment okay friends I hope you enjoy this video in next video I come with you and show you more uh, uh, 
more things about this how we can uh, make some changes in the uh, test script itself in a Scala programming I mean like uh, in a Scala pro generated programming code what where we can add some more customization and uh, simulate some more users and uh, and run the results I hope in this pretty much video you understand like how you can uh, run your test test scripts and how you look for the results I hope uh, you like my this video and uh, enjoyed if you know more about this tool please share in the description please uh, make a comments and uh, if you know some more information tool or library or something more advanced than this then please also comment to the this video okay thank you friends